Hi there, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Richard, and as you can see here, I'm paused, uh, sitting in my Cirrus jet, flying uh, on downwind uh, at the uh, Greenville Spartanburg, South Carolina airport. That's the home field for my Cirrus jet. And um, this video is about explaining how uh, I do my cockpit views. Uh, obviously, this is not a view of the cockpit, so I'll go back inside. So um, that's actually the default view when you first start up the um, X-Plane with the Cirrus Jet. And I have uh, nine cockpit views that I use, so that's the default view. Uh, the first view is key number one. And it shows me looking out the back window of the Cirrus jet, and I can see the far end of the runway. It's looking back 135 degrees. And uh, if I want to look out the uh, side window, there's a side window, and there's the end of the runway. Uh, that's my normal cockpit view for flying, so I can see the outside and see the entire um, uh, primary flight display. Uh, uh, that was key number three. Key number four is uh, looking out 90 degrees to my right. Key number five is looking out 135 degrees out the back window um, on the right side of the aircraft. And then key number six is uh, just a close-up view of the primary flight display, plus at the same time you get to see over here the um, uh, engine performance. And key number seven is just the multifunction display. And key number eight is get to see the entire um, front panel. And then key number nine is looking out the um, uh, co-pilot uh, seat uh, straight ahead. So those are the uh, views, and now we'll go into how you make them. Okay, with the uh, airplane still paused here, I'm going to come up here and click on um, the settings uh, icon up here in the top right corner and you and I'll click on the uh, keyboard and we'll see all the keyboard settings. Okay so this is a close-up view of the keyboard um, settings within X-Plane and notice that I have selected the all okay and uh, now I'm going to go into Views, and I'm going to go into Quick Views. And what you'll see down here is all of my keyboard settings. There's the one key for Location 1. There's the two key for Location 2, and 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And so those are all my cockpit locations. And now, once you have those cockpit locations, you have to define, you have to uh, tell, uh, explain to memorize a certain location. So I'm going to, um, even though I have this redefined, I'm going to redefine it by clicking where it says memorize cockpit location one, and I'm going to keep put a key in here that I always use for memorization. It is the backslash key. It's just below the delete key uh, on my Mac keyboard. So I've got a backslash key there. So now I'm going to go um, back out to uh, the uh, full view, and I'll show you what I do. Okay, so here we are back on the um, uh, default view, W. Um, and I'm, what I'm going to do now is, now that I have the backslash key defi to, defined to redefine uh, keyboard uh, 
number one, I show you how to get there. So I'm going to um, use the left arrow key to move over a little bit. I'm going to use the uh, Q key to pan around. And I could do a view out this one. In fact, I might just do that. Let's just see how well this works. So I'm going to move forward. Okay, there's too much wing in the way, so I will go back down here. So I'm going to use the uh, left arrow key to move around. And now there's two uh, portals here. And that one still has too much wing in it. So I'm going to go over here to the last portal, or the last window. I'm going to get up close and personal with that last window. And I'm just going to define with the um, uh, comma key and the period key. Uh, comma key moves me back, period key moves me forward. Arrow down key moves me that way. Panning moves me this way. Add the Q key. And so I'm just going to get this exactly where I want this key to be defined. Okay. So that looks like a pretty good view. Up here you see the V-tail of the airplane. Here you see a bit of the wing, but you can see the entire runway out there. So that's going to be my view. And so now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to hit the um, backslash key, and that view is now defined. So I'm going to go back to my um, uh, default view. I'll actually go back to maybe one of these other views here. Uh, that's my uh, takeoff uh, kind of view. And now I'm going to go back to um, hit key number one, and that's the view that I just defined. And so that's how you define one. It's not that hard. And uh, But what you have to do after that is come back here Go into the settings at the top, scroll down to where you uh, said down here at the bottom where it says Memorize Location 1. You have to turn that off so you don't re-memorize it by accident. So now that that's done, we have key number 1 defined. And you do all the keys exactly the same way. So I hope this was helpful in defining uh, how you uh, make cockpit views, uh, custom cockpit views. So at the end here, I thought I'd throw up uh, all of the keys that I define on my Mac keyboard for flying the Cirrus jet. I hope you enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching.